Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the gameplay of Bastion. Last time we left, we visited CS who knows where kind of lore style where you be baddies and get to know her a bit more about his uh, rough dad issue, which is actually meant to keep her in secret of who and what she is, I think. Yeah, pretty much so, actually. Now I'm readying myself to pretty much continue the story in which we're going to visit. Either Colford Cauldron. Oh, this is just a uh, proofing ground. I think I'm gonna do it a bit of a proofing ground after doing a couple of a story places or something. Yeah, the shards, the shards, the shards. It's gonna be a bit for later because I want to do a little bit of something. I haven't visited Memorial for ages now. What did I do in this one? Oh, shows her passing skill with the dueling pistols. Hmm, huh. that's nice. The Slingers. The Wilds with a calling. The Slingers. Can the required number of mementos. Whoa, one more. Hmm. Overcome the trail of the gods. Arrive a trip to who knows where with at least one shrine idol. Haha! <laughs> yeah, I got two. The Faith. Mother. This one's for you. Damn. Alright, let's see. Man, I can get one more lost mementos for me to get this. Uh, one more memento, I suppose. Mm. Mm. Secret skills. Raise the required number of land pieces through travel and exploration. Oh, yeah. So we're at 9k progress out of 13,000 progress. Yeah, I think we're reaching the end of this uh, game soon, apparently. I hope that's what it means. Get our experience to reach level 5. I'm almost there. Carry the fragments of the world. I almost got it too, actually. <laughs> Alright, yeah. That one's gonna be uh, also an auto complete once I beat my first enemy in the. Uh, in that point. Cauldron or something. Find kiss creatures touched by the calamity. Uh, yeah. One more again as well on that one. The masons. Oh man. Masons will be nice. Build the bastion. Defeat a foe with a single power shot from extreme range. An extreme range? Like super duper long range? Oh man. That's gonna be a bit tough. Harness the forge. I require two more of my weapons to go to the third level. Thing. All right, let's just quit that for the time being. Uh, it already got super upgraded. I still need a lot more shrines. Still need a couple of upgrades in this part. Hmm. Sure. Yes! Amping up the difficulty, cause why not? Yeah, I'd say I'm still confident enough with my current uh, weapon set. So to keep it. Sorry, John. Pricker spell. You know what? Just because I want to upgrade this weapon until le uh, level 3. 25% throw speed. Ugly elastic limbs provide superior throw speeds. 
without compromising on power. Or this plus two target penetrations per shot. Sturdian limbs put more force into every shot, allowing each arrow to hit several targets. Oh, this is actually good. His bow's looking lean and mean like a prize fighter. Nice. Oh, this is actually pretty good too. But it's gonna cause my dress speed to get a bit less. But then, um, not like this weapons will uh, stack their effects or something. It's not like uh, oh yeah, it's not like the Fang Repeater one. Well, this for example, multi piston. Uh, stack its effect with uh, flurry bolts and then heavy bolts stack its effect with reinforced piston. Yeah, it's not like that. All right, enough talking. Oh yeah. And that's because I did something. Ah, spend required numbers. You mean you gotta spend them right okay makes sense now the city its riches nothing but fragments now oh the calamity ravaged the city of Ceylonia, reducing so many priceless treasures down to dust <sighs> tell me about it the slingers they pushed the front safeguarding the city while paving the way for its growth ah the pressures that's what CS uh, dad used to work. Sometimes I want to ask him why I do any of this. But truth is, I don't want to know. Hmm. You don't even know, Rox. Do you? So many questions. I need some upgrade from my pressure spike unless I already purchased it and I didn't decide that oh wait I have this what's this spike's fault a dexterous trick with which the wielder leaps into the sky to crash down on unsuspecting foes the pressures adapted this maneuver from great war stories passed down from older generations mmm not sure, let's try. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I forgot where I should do that. Arsenal. Oh, okay. Yeah. It already gets instantly installed. Fair enough. Alright, let's go. Music. Oh, hello. Is that the result of the. Okay, never mind. I think I never saw that detail before. Lots of details in this game. Nice. Alright. We're getting closer to the east. The very east of this area. Yeah, these are only the proving grounds. Alright. Colford Cauldron. Here it simmers in this unstable area. Oh no. Which once pierced to the heart of the world. No risk of Colford Cauldron ever erupting again, they used to say. Guess they were wrong. Oh, this is gonna be risky as hell. Wallflowers are vulnerable to high damage and armor-piercing weapons. Not everything blew up in the calamity. Oh no. Well, why the run. Why Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time? Yeah, it's gonna feel like a super place. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. Oh god! That's not the poor they say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. Huh? 
If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. Ah, right. One damage grants you that bit of a... Oh god! That was close. And almost got damaged by that too. Not gonna fall into that one though. Do I need to heal it like now? Oh god. Where's that? Oh, hello. Oh god! Screw you! Oh dear. Ouch. That's not how you do it. There you go. Alright. That one's superly hazardous. Not good. Can I go there? No, I didn't think so. Alright. That's strange for us. Not that strange for us. I was expecting it to. There you go. This thing. I'm so scared to go around this area. God damn it. I'll be ahead. But okay. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. Oh, I didn't realize this was. Yeah. I gotta find more of these. Give me a bit. Alright. You know what? I'm just gonna pass there. Alright, let's go. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. Hello. Oh boy. That led to some interesting inventions. Get out! Get out! The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Damn! This one weapon. It's gonna burn all these things. Ho ho ho! The power of destructions! It's fallen to my hand. Alright. Playing with the cauldron's fires became an addiction. <laughs> it needs a lot of reload time though. Recharging rather. Okay, I wanna go here. Cut! You almost got me there. Anyways. Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. Wait, are, am I meant to go here or is this something story related or 
Oh wait, never mind. Oh god. Oh god! Ain't so good. Oh wait, I don't have any of my tonics here? Huh. Oh god. Oops! Ouch. Alright, that's not good against uh, rageful uh, enemies like that, though. Hmm. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna flee. It's not a good idea to stay there anyway. Alright, alright. I have wasted so much my of my health tonic just to deal with them. That was seems to be too necessary into the story. Good! You know this is dangerous, huh? Alright. we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. Oh god. Hmm, how to do we do this act? Okay, that's not too effective, isn't it? Oh yeah, I think I know why. That's the wrong uh, button too. Given scent of sulfurous dirt. Very unforgiving, yeah, I gotta agree. <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. It's quite surprising I cannot use any of these tonics here. I really didn't pay attention to the lore, by the way. Okay, crap it. Yep, see you there. Alright. He's gonna run. Oh god! Taste the air so hot it sticks to your lungs. Oh no! Ouch! It's awful hot in there. That's just unfriendly. Okay. Rapidly pressing the keys doesn't really affect me. One. There you go. All sorts of You can 
cook those things, but you can't eat them. Beckerness. Never thought we'd find so much life in all that ash. Beckerness. A memento. A patchwork of sticks with a lone egg nestled inside. Beggars were hunted aggressively before but the calamity, but their numbers never seemed to dwindle. Even now, they appear to be thriving. Surprising, right? Do wonder. Is there anything else that I miss from you? I don't hope that I would miss any. Anyways. I do wonder what would happen to the game if I didn't happen to collect all these mementos. Have I mentioned that before? I forgot. Alright, I want to go... Oh, yeah. Our stopping place around here. Sorry, get away from bit. Oh god. Happens to be fast enough in that one. Alright, something pointy. We kept on sifting through the cauldron's secrets anyway. Yes! Because I love secrets. I'm sorry. Which part of the body did I just burn there? Alright, finally. Huh. Do I want to keep this far below? Or do I just actually get the pressure spike in this one? Okay, fire bellows, flame assault weapon, spews, uh, spews a continuous stream of fire causing damage over time. A simple miscommunication led to the fiery destruction of Cylonia's oldest forge, but at least it gave birth to this weapon. I love that weapon. It's like that one type of uh, <laughs> mixture between flamethrower <laughs> and a <the> windblower. <laughs> That's why it's called fire bellows. Right, right, right. Kind of had that joke flo uh, flying uh, from my head a bit. I'm gonna die bike fall though. I wonder if it seems to be fitting. Am I getting stuck here? Oh! What is that? What? That small obstacle granted you two. Stray fragments. That's just. The more ash we swept the side, okay. the more light we found. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw you. Place is inhospitable as they come. Oh, but still, we pressed on. <laughs> we totally pressed on. Oh my god, they just gotta have to fall through that hole over there. Such a bad finding. Oh my god. More stray fragment. Oh my god! There's a powerful ranging plants there. Oh, those are rather. Alright. Pushing on. After all, when we look down inside Colford Culture. Yeah, big threat is gonna come soon, pretty much. Okay. You know what? Because I'm a cowardice, I'm just gonna get uh, one more of my health tonic by revealing it in the arsenal. Alright, okay, I think I know why I didn't get any of the black tonic. Since I got that fire pillows, I don't. I hope I'm right on spelling that one. Uh, none of my. Mm, none of my black tonic is going to be used in any of my weapons since uh, this pipe fault is 
uh, until I get it deleted into my arsenal. Look down through all the smoke and flames. Oh, this is not good. I think I know what we're going to deal with. God damn it, that thing kept firing at me and I didn't realize. Is it done? Okay. We saw in there the heart of the world. The heart now laid bare by the calamity. Oh no. Shard. The shard. We had to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Bog. Stink eye. There you go. Ah, yeah. Earn experience from trials and tribulations. Get enough experience to reach level five, and I just did. It felt good. He's thinking he's got to trek all the way back around the cauldron. Why am I suddenly getting my fire pillows? Hmm. Oh Luckily, god. The cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Oops. Did realize that's a pitfall. All right then. Oh man, I wish I could I could get this. Did I? Oh, I can't. Sure, it ain't the most Anything, yeah? All right, then. Oh, hello. I'm getting used to your reflex. That's to uh that's not a powerful uh counter from the bullhead shield. At least I'm getting that one. Alright, is there anything else that I need to You know what? Let's go. Oh alright. Biggest stink guy he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Pops open on him like a pimple on a school day. Alright, so which part should I go next? I've totally gone there. Oh god. Okay, getting my experience. I'm taking it so bad. Alright, anyways. So, no. Path of return to the arsenal. And we gotta somehow get stuck with this fire below. How did I do that by the way? Oh wait! I've been having this one. Oh god, I'm so silly. Was 
it. And where there's one stink eye. Got oh sh totally more. Got very much off guard with that. Anyways. Rocks, your narrative has never ceased to amaze me. The cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Oh god! Get out! Kid don't shed any tears for me. <laughs> yeah, screw your tears. Oh! Hmm. Oh yeah, that's not good. Give me that one. Bam. Nice. Oh god. Oh. Okay, that's the one. Oh god. And with a good spyglass, you can still see the cold from the city. That's super handy. Not gonna lie. Okay, I think I can see from there, apparently. He just actually missed it. There. Did it! Done it! Clean! I could have done better, but I didn't. <laughs> so sorry. I'm a so slow, slow going. Slow adventure, rather. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. Hmm. Low and fragments, try completing features in the memorial. Ah, yeah. Still have 8k of it. It comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. <laughs> all black and dusty. I still love this narrative. Not you, ankle gator. Stay. Your ankle gator. Ankle gator. Elder. That's a nice name, by the way. You're a squirt. And, uh. I'm gonna need more info about this pecker nest. Axia yeah, about this little nest from Call for Cauldron. Do you know if this egg's supposed to be making a muffled chirping sound? <laughs> We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight. Oh, I got a pet sitter of Chipman. So adorable. <laughs> Alright, Rux. Those birds can breed just about anywhere, can't they? They said the wild could never be tamed. If only they could see us now. It's fair. Oh, look at that! What are they doing? <laughs> That's so adorable. Gotta watch your fingers around that little guy. Oh my god. You get more pets! Alright, stay there. Got a momento to get. Alright, getting quite a number of mementos. Yes. The culture. A still life of old unwanted keepsakes. The sales were a sentimental people and will pass their precious heirlooms to their friends and children. The conscience. The conscience. The conscience. Right? We haven't lost everything as long as we have that. I got vigilante achievement for that. Interesting. Is it for getting lots of... I don't know, I gotta have to check that achievement on myself. The Calamity took everything from almost everyone. It took almost everything from everyone else. Families, friends, society... Everyone just gotta do something to survive. Oh yeah, right. 
I can add myself uh, one of the spirit, but time. Automatically retaliate when injured. Waxy thirst quenching drink refined from ground stabbed with needles. Speeding up the needles is considered good, but effective. Twenty five percent damage using secret skills. I'm just gonna get myself stuff into. Oh hello, I didn't see you before. An outhouse? I'm gonna do that after bring myself to the distillery. All right. Reduce damage from falling. Twenty percent damage by falling on foes. But I barely fall, not smoothly. Oh, I mean hardly. Always uh, attempting myself to recover. Survive an attack that would have brought defeat. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 10 plus max health. That's nice. Hmm. I'm gonna get myself squid sitter. What is this out of house? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna get myself the external for pillows. Stick him and cook him. Or the other way around. Makes no difference. I love it. I need something to Oh yes! More upgrades for my fire pillows! Volatile fuel, flames spread wider. Okay. I think I would rather uh fuel generation over wider spread. Yeah. A chemical compound that oxides faster than usual for longer lasting flames with less downtime. An unstable compound that burns hotter than normal, creating a wider cone of fire that can impact a larger area. At least it won't get cold around here with that thing around. Oh, totally. We need a bit of a worm inside our cold heart. Napalm Reservoir. Flames cause lasting burn. Oh, God, yes! A dangerous thickening agent that causes flames to stick to the target, continuing to burn. Through my reservoir, a powder that can generate extreme heat. Oh, one damage per flame. For even more destructive flames. It's nice too. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna go to a realistic route where fires will actually last a bit before eventually goes up down on its own. It doesn't work against humans though, but uh, on the inside, a fire bellows ain't nothing like its more popular air spitting cousin. Air spitting cousin? Oh, air spitting cousin, yeah, the wind bellow. Right, right, right. So it is called fire bellow. Glad I didn't mistake my spelling there. Alright, uh, oh yeah, I need this definitely. Let's see 50% damage, critical hit damage. Throw attacks can stun, but I don't think I have too much uh, use of that, yeah. Ooh, knockback. Fifty percent faster throw reload. Eh. A custom forge counterweight built for superior thrusting power and stability. Oh, it, this effect stacks with hollow shots. Ah, this one. Seems nice. When you've got a solid balance, you've got what you need. Solid balance. Hmm. Heavy counterweight, light counterweight. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna use all the damage uh, inducer as much as I can. All right. Let's see what else. He's a little gruff at times. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's put this shard here. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. Ooh, yes. Alright, so we do need one more shard to fully restore the Bastion. If 
it's not a waste, of course. I think I'm gonna improve my... Hmm. I'm gonna improve my arsenal for the sake of it. The true arsenal grants access to the Trapper's Lair, a powerful secret skill. The arsenal's complete in case we need protection. Ah, a sophisticated snaring kit that instantly springs open to immo immobilize foes in the user's vicinity. Trappers rely on this for hunts that didn't go as planned. A trapper snare? Ah, it's the stunner. Type of uh, secret skill, I, I, I guess. I'm gonna have to try that though, but uh, yeah, I'm still... I still even by now have yet to try it quite well, so I'm still gonna have to use it anyway. Oh, Alright, a bit more outhouse. What's this outhouse? Seems he is cooking got the best of him. Let me in! Let me in! Ah I'm curious! inside these boxes man hey hey packer packer get up from there fly somewhere please unless you want to you really like to fly around these pets as well huh I'm pretty much not in love with it <clears throat> anyways uh yeah I think I'm just gonna wrap this episode I've been really really explore around this uh small bastion around here for way too long thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys don't mind about me having taken a bit of a slow route on exploring that part besides i almost died in that uh <laughs> that cauldron area either way so yeah stay safe wash your hands and get your good rest for this pandemic time really couldn't ask for more yeah all right see ya folks <laughs>